Was the Clinton campaign more involved in the push for electors to switch their votes than we knew? According to a new report in Politico, senior aides like Jake Sullivan and Jen Palmieri were in touch for weeks with one of the organizers of the Dump Trump movement. They did not, however, offer anyone involved in the effort any direct guidance, according to the report. Joining me now, Karen Finney, former spokesperson for the Hillary Clinton campaign. Good to see you, Karen. So do you buy this report? <laughs> well, look, I think it's, pr I do in that it makes sense that people who are uh, Clinton campaign supporters, electors, uh, would reach out to people, uh, you know, in our campaign. Uh, but look, I think as, as the story points out, there was an effort to, you know, be, walk a fine line, frankly, of, of being supportive because obviously it's important that the electors do what they believe is right in terms of their responsibility uh, as electors, which is part of why I think some of them thought it was important to get a national security briefing given the information that came out about the Russians. But at the same time, you know, I think there was part of uh, the, you know, idea here was this is not necessarily, we're not, we're necessarily talking about changing the outcome uh, of the election uh, through the Electoral College. College. I mean, is there realistically a push and pull for folks like you, for folks like uh, Jake Sullivan? Because when you look at the, one of these exchanges with the elector from Colorado, the elector from Colorado apologizes for what he called his urgent tone, and Jake Sullivan replies, not at all, we all share a sense of urgency. This sure. wanting to show something wasn't quite right, and on the other hand, not wanting to perpetuate what a lot of people have suggested seems like sour grapes, that it's time to move on. Sure, and uh, look, you know, I think, Chris, part of what I think this reflects uh, a couple of things that I think have implications going forward. Number one, as you know, it's a, another chance to have this conversation about the Electoral College broadly, which has been, been brought up, given that Hillary Clinton has now won, what is it, 2.8 million more uh, in the popular votes and the popular vote and people's sort of frustration that you, we have a system whereby you can, you know, have that kind of an unprecedented historic lead, you know, in the popular vote, but still not win. I think it also reflects though how closely divided our electorate and our country is and I think it also you know just reflects this was a tough campaign and and this was you know there were tough questions that that arose throughout the campaign certainly you know in these last weeks when we talk about you know the influence of the Russians and Vladimir Putin and hacking and so I think there were a lot of tough issues on the table that people uh, were grappling with but I think the most important thing to come that should come out of this is those 2.8 million people who voted for Hillary Clinton, Donald Trump has to be president for them as well. And he's got to acknowledge that, you know, so the electors have voted. He is now, you know, it's, it's settled. He's the president-elect. But don't forget that there are people out there who are Americans who didn't vote for you and they're still counting on you. Well, what he suggested yesterday, and I'm curious to get your reaction to this and if you've talked to other